Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another full self driving video. This is 12.3.6 supervised self driving, and we are headed into town to get a haircut. And so, this is a standard test route. Uh, this video is going to consist of going and back, so not splitting up the video. You'll get both parts. Uh, traditionally, the, the last few times I've done this, the return trip has been zero disengagement, sorry, zero interventions. Not just zero disengagement, zero interventions. So, we're gonna see, oh, turn that down, how well it does uh, going on here. Obviously, it's still even 38 on this road. Uh, I don't, and that's what I really wish they would focus on for like the next 12.4 or whatever. I really wish they would focus on just really perfecting the speed. That would be the biggest change for me. Everything else is really good. It's the speed. If they can fix that, I probably, I would rarely have interventions. So that's the thing. The areas that have really well marked speed limits um, and GPS data and map data are going to have by far the least amount of inter interventions. If they would just fix the speed limits, I would have almost none. As good as always going on this. And also, uh, merging onto the highway would be nice too. If they would, uh, if they would get highway onto the version 12 stack, that would be awesome. As you can tell, version 11 is now dated. I'm having to, I have to turn on the blinker, and it still doesn't get over. It just kind of zipper verbs. It actually was gonna turn it on at the same time I hit it, but it still didn't get over. Maybe that's why why it actually didn't go over because it turned on at the same time. Again, this uh, digital speed limit sign, go ahead and get a snapshot there. It needs to be able to read that. So that's 45 mile an hour. Technically, <laughs> can't even do that math. What is that, 20, 24 mile an hour over the speed limit? Right now, obviously, everyone is going over that. Um, I will go 55. Seems like we've had a harsh break for that car cutting in front. What we're looking for, though, is that it will actually slow down with these cars at the bridge. See, it says 45 again, right here. And because of this, unless everyone slows down, not calling that an intervention, chill mode should hopefully keep it from passing. Well, maybe. But otherwise, we're gonna have to intervene because I'm not going that fast in a construction zone where there's likely construction workers. Let's see here. Now I can't see. Mm, I don't actually see anyone. Now in that case, it doesn't matter. Quite often, as I've said in my previous videos, at the very end of the bridge on the right, right there, will be a police car sitting, waiting for people to speed, and they just zoom right up. Can't wait until this construction's done. Though they're widening this bridge to a three lane on each side, in preparation for one day when 26 I 26. Oh, there are construction workers here. There's just not a police car. So good. Um, they are uh, going to widen each side to three lanes. And I think that's late 2020s. Maybe they're doing that. I don't know at this point. <laughs> The upper half of 26 near Asheville is getting the three lane treatment right now. It's gonna be really nice when that's finished. It's gonna be really nice. My hope is that this will be 65 for cars and 55 for trucks in this area. And then trucks will be forced to stay in the right lane and then the other two lanes will just go right up. It'll make traffic flows. It could save me like a minute in the town or more sometimes. It impedes traffic so much, as well as it would make this road a lot safer because there's actually quite a few wrecks on this road, I suspect, due to the, the amount of traffic and trucks that like to pass around. It'd be interesting to see what it would have done with that truck sitting there on that merge because it's, it's in the lane. I 
and my car would normally just get right over it. Of course, that would be version 11 behavior, not version 12. Version 12, I think, would handle that fine. Version 11, however, I think would mess it up. Oh, Jesus. People that can't merge on the highway are very dangerous to other people. Okay. And that's how traffic happens, because now everyone, um, rubber bands. Thankfully, we are getting off the highway right here. really like it to pass this truck. Like I said, it's back to average, but it doesn't seem to like do anything. And we're, uh, just because I changed the profile, we're not counting that as interventions from my point of view. That's just because at certain points in the road, like if I'm on a road trip and I'm on, on a highway, I just want to just cruise and chill. I don't, I don't want to like speed a whole bunch and change lanes constantly. Now, if I'm trying to get somewhere quicker, I'm like, you know, a few minutes behind my appointment, so we're, we're good. But, you know, if I'm trying to catch up some time, I don't, and also, well, more importantly, I want to get away from this truck because the, the flaps are broken. And I don't want to get paint chips or a windshield chip. And that's just how you're going to get it, <laughs> going behind a gravel truck without flaps. up on this turn. I wanted to mention, I made a poll on X to see how many people would speed uh, with a police car sitting there. The majority of people chose 5 mile an hour. Uh, and then uh, still a good chunk, like 20% or so I think it was. I can't remember at this point. Uh, did uh, 7 mile an hour. And then like very few did 9 mile an hour. So, yeah, it seems like most, most police cars are not going to pull you over 5 over, which is fair. They probably are not going to do that. It's not worth their time when they know someone's going to go at least 7 to 10 over. Like, just shortly after. That was a very good turn. Like, <laughs> as, well, as good as I would have done it. Very smooth, no hesitancy at all. That turn right there, that unprotected left, has traditionally been very difficult for it. There's a truck behind me, too. Um, and we, yeah, it corrected itself. It went off the road ever so slightly. It got to the very, very edge of the road right there. It makes me wonder if it's ever going to accidentally read this as a speed limit sign. Because then it's just going to like keep on like going the speed it says. I don't know. That'd be weird. <laughs> but we are at our destination, actually. Um, not the right one. But we're at our destination. I'll see you on the way back out. And I... Will, well, well, we'll see if we can get another zero intervention. I'm pretty sure this was zero interventions. But yeah, we're we'll gonna see if we can get another one. We're back, everyone, with a nice fresh haircut. Let's see if we can make it with zero interventions on the way back. So we've done this two or three times now. And funny enough, it even like goes slower on this road because it's more narrow. It's doing a good job. See how it does on this unprotected left. Turn, I turn the camera on just so you can see how close to the curb it is. It's completely open. And it's just fine. Uh, the problem is how fast is it going to go right here. A little bit fast. Just right on this road, in my opinion. If people go faster, it could go maybe it could go 42, and I'd be okay with it. But 40 is just right. Why is it slowing down so? 
so much. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Interesting. So this speed limit is wrong right here, and it's actually going nine over the speed limit. It actually stresses me out more because now I actually have to pay attention to cop cars. And no, I'm not going to get a radar meter because I don't normally speed in the speed. Okay, now I got the right speed limit. Interesting that instead of it's 40. Again, mo most of my interventions are going to be due to speed. Not because it messes up anywhere else now. Slow down and not stop too much. I wanted to get in the left lane there, but it stayed here in the right lane. And good. Very smooth. Oh, that was great. That was great. Exactly what a human would do. Keep on, keep on moving forward. It didn't accelerate towards the car, but it stayed, maintained speed, and didn't aggressively brake like previous versions would do. did that because of me because I'm pretty adamant that it, it doesn't get into this lane until like like it did now that was good yeah that was really good it should go through the intersection then get over in the right lane now I'm not sure why it's being so timid going through into here hey okay, good yeah still no interventions we have just the highway left, and it, the highway is only, only going to matter if it goes too fast. And we have a truck coming next to us. Are we going to go fast enough to get in front of this truck? Yes, we are. That's a version 11 thing. That, that You can tell the things that version 12 no longer does that version 11 does do, and now it's making version 11 seem like bad. <laughs> Just crazy. So version 11 was so good when it came out. Like, it was so good when it came out. And now version 12 is making it look bad. like it's a lot further away, but that's pretty close. Um, I am going technically 5 over, so it's fine. But if you're going to be in the left lane here, you need to be going like 7 to 10 mile an hour over minimum. No. Not going to actually get over it. I am, I would personally get, that car is like straight up riding on my, my bumper. That's the thing, people don't, uh, like, that's not appreciated enough how dangerous it is of, to piss off other humans. It is not appreciated how dangerous it is to piss off other humans. I'll say it one more time. It is not appreciated or respected enough to how dangerous it is to piss off another human being on the road. By simply going only five over the speed limit, guys 
like riding my bumper so close that if, if I had an emergency brake, he would rear end me and cause a serious accident. Because he was following way too close. It would be his fault. But then I have to deal with an accident. Just because like the car needs to learn to get over. Right now it's going 60. It missed the speed limit sign. That's the thing. I uh, It missed the speed limit sign. I'm going to have to intervene. Unless I'm going to get behind this car. It's so fr like frustrating. It, it, because this truck blocked the speed limit sign, it doesn't know it's 65 here. It should be going the offset right now. Which is funny how I'm still passing this van over here. Going probably 55. Okay. We're close enough, I'm just gonna do it. Like, this frustrates me. Like, this isn't this isn't relaxing to me. I don't know how other people can deal with this. I don't know. Like, this, this is like... <laughs> that guy tried to pass me on the right, and then my car finally got over, and then he got over. <laughs> this is why I don't like this. It stresses me out. I'm laughing, but I'm stressed, guys. I don't like doing this. Anyways, as long as you can make the next turn, we ended up making this with zero interventions. That's the thing, I guess if it's truly a robot taxi, they don't have feelings, they don't care that someone's like getting mad at them. As long as no one's in the car to potentially get in an accident, now that's a different story. This is still going way too fast off this exit ramp. Are we gonna make it? And we are, look at that, everyone. We got a zero intervention drive back to back. That's awesome. It's really awesome. Well, um, I hope everyone has a good night. If you have questions for me, that's, I don't know, that's freaking awesome. So I'm pretty happy about that. I will uh, let you guys go. See you in the next video. Bye.